Hey guys, it's Kay Sutherland, and tonight I'm going road herping for snakes. Um, I'm going on Highway 166, otherwise known as the Davis Mountain Scenic Loop. Uh, tomorrow night I'm also going to a friend's graduation party. And so tonight, uh, my mom's over at this place, it's on 166, so I'm going to go road herping on that area in case I have uh, any problems. But hopefully we'll see a rattlesnake tonight, but you never know, there's gopher snakes, possibly a copperhead, uh, rat snakes, long nose snakes, you never know what I'm going to get tonight. So uh, stay tuned, I hope, uh, hope I see a snake. See ya. Alright guys, I'm heading out right now. I'm heading out in my mom's truck, which is pretty awkward. Um, the reason it's awkward is because, you know, it's more modern and I'm just really not, I hate to admit it, but I'm just not used to these modern trucks. I'm more into the 80s and 90s trucks. My, uh, my truck is a 97 uh, Chevrolet, so yeah, this is going to be a little bit difficult for me, but I think I'll get by. All right, so I'm just, uh, and I'm gonna hit the road in just a few minutes. Hopefully we'll have a nice evening. Well, guys, it's not a snake, but it's a creature of the desert. This right here is a desert tarantula. Now, this is a, a young one, a pretty young one. And uh, this is a male. Males have longer legs. And, uh, yeah, he's, he, this is a cool find. I mean, I don't... This is the first one I've ever gotten on film. See if I can pick him up without getting uh, bitten. Ooh, he's a little pissed right now. Oops. Let me try and get this stick. Scoop him up. He's angry. I don't want him to bite me. Don't bite me. Good boy. Oops. He knows that he's been found. Well, that's a nice tarantula. He knows that uh, somebody's watching him. Let's see if Just a second. Oops. Uh, there's a nice find. There's a uh, juvenile desert tarantula, a male. First find of the evening, boys. All right, guys, I'm coming past the uh, Point of Rocks picnic area. And uh, actually, last year I found a gopher snake right here at the this gate right here. Uh, my friend Margaret O'Donnell and her husband Rick and uh, their friend Garrick actually saw me when I was coming through here, and I had caught a gopher snake that had eaten something, and I turned him loose a few miles this way. But uh, I'm coming past the Point of Rocks, and uh, I found one tarantula and one dead gopher snake. Uh, too bad it was dead. But um, stick around. You never know. I might catch another one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the most venomous snake in the United States, if not the world. The Mojave Rattlesnake. Crotalus scutellatus. This right here, this snake is found all along the west coast and found right here through Texas and deep into Mexico. I am not getting anywhere close to the snake. I'm not even gonna attempt to move him because it's my mom's rules. But this snake is highly, highly venomous. It's got a neurotoxic and hemotoxic venom combination. It's like getting bitten by a coral snake and a copperhead at the same time. If you get bitten by one of these snakes, you got about 45 minutes to get to the hospital, and then you'll start suffering severe necrosis. But this is a beautiful snake. This is an adult, and he's probably in his, I'd say, late in his first year. This is a really beautiful snake, and uh, I'm just going to leave him be. Hopefully he'll go off the road, and I'll see you soon. Stay tuned. Well, guys, that was pretty nerve-wracking about the... Uh about the Mojave rattlesnake. And I tell you what, there's plenty of them out here on 166, so if you're out herping, just know what you're in for. There are a couple of cattle back there. So uh, hopefully I'll find another snake tonight. All right guys, I'm turning right here onto 515 that goes to Valentine, Texas. 
So uh, I'm gonna go down this road and when it hits 90, I'm gonna make a swing and head back home. So hopefully I'll get to see a snake on this road or on the way back, so. Hey guys, once again, it's not a snake. Here he is. Got him. Hang on. Whoops. There we go. Here's a toad. Uh, I think this is a Texas toad or some kind of toad or green toad. I'm not exactly sure. But this is one find that I found right here, and there's also a rabbit carcass right here. This is a really nice toad. See the poison glands right there? Uh, if a predator grabs onto him, he's gonna, uh, their poison leaks out of there. And uh, it's a bitter tasting poison, and it'll cause them to uncontrollably salivate. Uncontrollably salivate. Oh, he's croaking right now. Dude, he's so cute. That's a cute little toad. But anyway, I'm just gonna let him go. But that's another find of the evening. Nice. Hey guys, got a baby gopher snake here. This is uh they get a lot bigger than this, but this is also called a bull snake, relative of the bull snake. And uh this is a young one. And uh yeah, this is really nice. This is the first non-venomous snake of the evening. Really beautiful snake. And uh these guys, these guys, uh they adapt well to captivity. They don't like rattlesnakes and they eat mice and if they're big enough they'll eat voles and even ground squirrels. And gopher snakes, as you can see, one way you can tell the difference between them and the bull snakes is the color. I don't know if you can see it, but they are much more yellowish color than the, uh, than the bull snakes. And also the bull snakes don't necessarily grow as big as the gopher snakes. The gopher snakes get, oh look, see, he likes my hat. Gopher snakes get about maybe six and a half, maybe even in seven feet long. Bull snakes only get around six. So that's really nice. That's a cute little gopher snake. And, uh, and you know, this guy, uh, he's not necessarily an adult. See, he's flicking the tongue. He's wondering what's going on. I've never been picked up. But uh, he's not an adult. But uh, he should be in maybe the next few months. I'm not really sure on, uh, on age about gopher snakes. But this is a young one. He's probably, I'd say, at least... Six months old, yeah. I'd say he's six months old, born during the winter. But gopher snakes are really beautiful snakes. I love them. I'm gonna turn them loose on the hot, different way on the highway, and there's a there's a car coming. So I'll wait till this car passes, and then I'll shut it off. But that's a beautiful snake right there. This is a very docile snake. Now gopher snakes, what they'll do? These snakes are often killed because they're mistaken for the prairie rattlesnake which is uh, the second most venomous snake in Texas because the pattern's really good. But one way you can tell the difference, they've got a round head and they don't have a rattle in the end of their tail. So that's one way you can tell the difference. So, uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna take this guy and release him where he's safe. So, nice find. There's a ghost of a moon in the afternoon, bullet holes in the mailbox.